All right, welcome back to a brand new video of the Chargers Division program. Chargers Division experience. Heading home. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. You know what you Where you look at the license plate for, bro? <laughs> you look at the license plate of the um, the car vehicle in the front on the scooter. They like to do that shit. Why? Because they can't control me. All right, because the nigger peeing Christians and the white racists and the black sambos and sambinas can't control me. All right, because what? Because I chose my African culture beliefs. Not, I shouldn't say belief. My African cultural spiritual system. Okay, because it's not a belief system. Okay, though some parts of it may. Uh, have a mythical uh, story, right? But still, it is still based on the reality, right? So, feminine and masculine, divine principle, duality, right? The divine feminine and the divine masculine. You cannot have creation of life with only one, unlike the Abrahamic and Christian doctrine and the uh, Islamic uh, Mohammedan belief system where a male God is created man first and then takes a rib from a man to make a woman. See, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's foolishness. Look, let's see the, the bottle there. Yeah, look, let's put the bottle on the vehicle. Right there. The water bottle on the vehicle. Same tactics they use over and over here. Here, 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 Ethiopia, Nubia, Kush. All right? They understood that you cannot have creation, particularly of human life or any life on this planet, all right? Without the male and the female. All right? It cannot just be masculine. How can two men create a child? Right? Now there's a point in time when women were the only people on the planet. Right? And a genetic mutation occurred within them in which male offsprings were produced. So the woman was always first. Okay? Like I was telling parents today, I said, you know, black women used to be the most wisest women in the world. Right? They were the most beautiful. They still are the most beautiful. As far as the wisest is concerned, you know, Particularly in the Western society, they are very few. All right, and that's all I said. Listen, it's not your fault, <laughs> okay? Because when you've been miseducated, right? Particularly in this uh, in this part of the world, all right, and colonialization that happened in Africa, right? The outright theft of uh, history. You know, you come. They try to make us into a people with no history, right? But our history created their history, right? <laughs> so always, always remember, always know that your history created their history. We created the Arab history, the Asian history, Chinese, uh, Koreans, Japanese, Vietnamese, right? The Russians, right? British, the French, the Spanish, the Italian. We, uh, without us, they have no history. Okay? That's what I was telling. I said, you know, we have to, we all have to get back to a point where you have to have some level of consciousness. Okay? I'm not saying that you just become fully conscious of another, but you need to have some level of consciousness and beware of, and become self-aware. One, one of the most important things 
is having an awareness of self and being self-aware of not only your surroundings, but the people in your surroundings, and also knowing the history. Yeah, like I was telling, I said, you know, listen, as black men and black women, when we date outside of our ethnic group, like I said, I said, I don't care who, I don't, you know, for us, I said, listen, date whoever you want to date, right? But when it comes to dating white men and white women particularly, we need to be extra careful, okay? Because a big part of the reason why they're dating you is because they fetishize you, right? When they tell you they love you, ask them. What are you doing to change the system of white supremacy? Right? What are you doing to tear down the system of white supremacy so that you, your sons, your brothers, your fathers, your uncles, your aunts, your daughter, your sister, your mother, your grandmother, right, could have true equality. But the truth is that most white people even the ones that are liberal and say that they love you, they're in a relationship with you, they are not willing to do that. Right? And again, I don't totally blame them because it's something that they've been taught to uphold white supremacy. It's embedded in their subconscious, uh, so their subconscious mind. Right? And not to say that there isn't any because there are a few that are trying to do just that. Just not enough of them. So I told him, I said, you know, then as a black woman, you need to understand that white men, they're going to fetishize you more than anything else. Right? They will sleep with you, have kids with you, marry you. But when it comes to sex in the bedroom, is when they start to show what they really think about you. Right? It's the slave master role playing. Right? It's the give me that nigga. And, you know, give me that nigga pussy. Right? <laughs> right? Bow down to your master. Let me put some cream in your coffee. You know, and I said, and black women eat that shit up because they themselves also fetishize white men. I said, but, you know, it's still a power dynamics that they play with you as a black woman in the bed. And you must understand that. So, like I said, they do whatever you want to do. But just keep that in mind, and you need to be, and you need to ask them, right? And if they fetishize you in the bedroom, then you either deal with it or you leave, and you know, <laughs> you get find somebody who really truly loves you again. All right, talk to you guys in the next video.